Hi there, a number of you have asked whether the uh, drawings are available for uh, this CNC router engraver that I'm making and I've had a bit of an email exchange with uh, Olivier in France and uh, we think the best thing is um, if I can make a decent job out of this machine then um, it might make the uh, drawings available for a small fee which uh, seems really reasonable considering the amount of effort is put into uh, producing these drawings. Um, now, yesterday I got a bit of a shock. I, I thought that this project had hit the buffers because I got an email from AliExpress basically saying that my order had been cancelled, the order for the ball screws and the uh, rails. Now, uh, I, I sent them a few messages and I eventually got a response which sort of seems to suggest <laughs> that uh, some of the components are being sent from uh, a UK warehouse and some of the other components are being sent from uh, a warehouse in China uh, which doesn't really make any sense to me why they sort of seem to cancel the, the whole order so um, I'm a sort of bit sort of sceptical as to whether or not these uh, components are going to arrive at this moment in time um, but fingers crossed they will do uh, but with that in mind, I've decided that when I'm uh, sort of making any of the components, any when I'm machining the plates, I'm going to avoid drilling any holes associated with those ball screws or rails. And uh, in, in this video, it'll be quite a short video because um, it's pretty boring stuff really. I'm just drilling holes and what have you and tapping them. Um, but I'll, I'll cover in a bit more detail the method I'm using to drill the uh, holes in the uh, sort of side plates on the ends of the side plates. I touched on it in my previous video, but I'll go into a bit more detail in this video. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Uh, so what I need to be doing is to be drilling two holes in the end here. And I think I mentioned in my previous video that I've, I took the uh, compound slide off and I know the distance between the top of the cross slide and the uh, center is um, 2.366 of an inch. Don't ask me how I work that out, I can't remember, uh, but I can assure you that's what it is on this machine. Uh, might be different on other ones, on other SC4s, but that's what it is on here. And um, with that in mind, uh, I've put some packing in here, oops, and um, use some, some shim material um, to get this centre uh, up to the uh, level of this centre here. And um, I've bought the, the, the piece down and I've uh, eyeballed this edge here against uh, the lathe bed just to make sure that that's parallel. I've also uh, use this gauge here to check that it's roughly close um, you know um, sort of level um, with the lathe which it is and I've marked this edge up here as being the edge I'm going to use for the edge finder um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll find this edge then move the carriage uh, or the the cross slide this way three millimeters to center on that edge then I'll move it in again um, to uh, by 10 millimeters which will center me on the position where I need to be drilling and tapping these M8 holes just gone So I'll move the table this way uh, three millimetres. One, two, three, or rather the cross slide. And I'll move it again ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just making sure I'm pretty close to my marking up. That looks pretty much spot on to me.
Okay, so this is the rear plate and I need to drill the holes that, for the bolts to go through to uh, bolt the rear plate to the side plates, um, which will then be bolted to the front plate. So what I've done is um, I've run this gauge along the front here and got it spot on. There's one drawback with this mill that I found and that is you can't run the power feed on the uh, y-axis without the spindle running. Um, which it would have been great to have just run the power feed along there. So you've got to do it manually. It's a bit of a pain really. Uh, but anyway, I've, I've got it uh, spot on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an edge finder on, on this side here to find this edge. So this will be the origin. And then I'll start drilling the holes to take the rails. Now when I do the front uh, section what I'll do is I'll take the origin from this side um, so that the, the, the front and the back match if there are any errors if you get my drift um, so uh, we'll crack on Well I've moved the X and Y axes um, by the desired amounts and it looks like my marking up is spot on. Well I'm certainly starting to challenge the table limits of this uh, WM18 uh, milling machine. And this hole is um, over 400 millimetres from the first one. But it's still in line with me marking up, which is encouraging. Now these holes need to be recessed to take the bolt heads, so this is uh, 14 millimetres in diameter and going to a depth of 8 millimetres. Well I uh, drilled the holes in the front plate off camera and uh, can you believe it, to uh, drill eight holes accurately it took me about three hours. But anyway it looks pretty symmetrical so I'm happy with the result. And uh, the good news is a couple of uh, pairs of rails have arrived. So these are uh, 500 millimeter rails. Just put something like that. And then the gantry will fit on like that. With another pair of rails up here. So it's uh, slowly coming to plan. Well, I must say I usually find engineering quite therapeutic but uh, over the past few days it's been quite concerning regarding uh, Ukrainian people being murdered and uh, massively displaced as well. Now there is um, 
a government uh, committee, uh, a disaster emergency committee, uh, that are, uh, they'll match any donation that people make, up to 20 million I think. So um, the site is deck.org.uk, so I'm sure any um, donations will be appreciated.